All right. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and record this as well while live streaming because I don't know if it's going to be problematic. If there's no problem, I'll just delete the live stream. Or not the live stream. If there's no problem, I'll delete the recording of it off my computer. But um, if there is a problem and something gets disconnected, I can then upload part 10 or whatever didn't get uploaded into the live stream. So I'm going to go ahead and make this clear. If the live stream cuts, because again, this is a live stream, but if the live stream gets cut, I will upload whatever gets cut off in another episode tonight. Uh, it'll be unedited as well, kind of like how the other ones were. But if everything's good, uh, then we will just keep it as the live stream. But yeah, this is just like, you know, just a security blanket. So I don't lose any kind of content because I can't go back and play this stuff if, you know, something happens. Like, I, I won't know what happens until after I've already, you know, been done with it. So we're going to try to finish what little part we could of the game uh of the story today uh so i saved right here uh in the last episode earlier today we went over uh we quelled the frenzy nobled electrode we're about to do the last one now i could not move forward until i got my fifth star as you guys can see i got my fifth star um as you guys can also see i need to move my drink over uh but as you guys can also see I evolved Stantler into Weirdeer. I evolved Stantler into Weirdeer. And then, of course, last episode, we evolved uh, one of my shiny Bonitas into a shiny Rapidash. So, you know, that's two things that happened right there. I also had to go fill up pages of the Pokedex uh, for everything. If you guys want to evolve a uh, stant, if you get a shiny Stantler and you want to evolve it into a weird ear, all you need, oh, it's cute. He's sleeping. If you guys want to get a shiny weird ear and you have a shiny Stantler, all you would have to do to evolve it is he needs to have. Uh, let me go over here. Nope, nope, right over here. He needs to have the move. Spice Shield Bash. He needs to have it mastered. And once he gets it mastered, you need to have him use it 20 times in the Agile form. So once he does it 20 times in the Agile style of battling, he will then have the ability to evolve. You can do it at any level, uh, as long as he has Psy Shield Bash and it's mastered at any level from there on, he can evolve. So it's not necessarily like you get him to a level. It's just you have to have him use Psycho Bash in the Agile style 20 times. And then he evolves. So. Yeah. Uh, I also filled up the Pokedex page of my Oshawa as well. Or my, not Oshawa, but Samurott. Got it to a level and as well been doing some missions and all that kind of stuff so i was literally scraping at anything i could just get uh you know whatever i could get done so um let's go ahead and organize that all right cool all right let's go over here they're going to meet us over here. Now, we are the only ones that are able to go up to uh, the Alabaster Icelands. And, yeah. I think this is where we get our final ride of Pokemon as well. The word to make for the Alabaster Iceland. That's right. They see. Of course, I'm, too, I'm all too aware of the injuries done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of the other nobles. There seemed little choice but to intervene this avalug out in the alabaster icelands hasn't harmed a soul as i hear it does it really behoove us to go out of our way to subdue him if avalugs as great and mighty as they say he could very well cause avalanches avalanches don't require pokemon's help they occur perfectly well on their own you know i confess I still have my doubts whether we should be getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far, but if we send Techno out there, we'll be putting him in danger. 
of real harm. But if the Lord is suffering and his frenzy, like people say, then wouldn't it be kinder to quell it? There's simply so much we don't un yet understand when it comes to the, uh, when it comes to the noble Pokemon. We don't know whether their frenzies truly are causing them to suffer, nor do we know why they entered these states in the first place, or if this is all connected somehow to the space-time rift. What is it, I wonder, that the commander hopes will come about from our quelling the noble, or indeed from serving any of the Pokemon of this land? What is it he hopes to achieve? Maybe a way to coexist? I certainly hope so. The goal of my research is to help build a future where Pokemon, where everyone gets along with Pokemon. Professor Lavington. Ah, nothing to bother yourselves about. Doubtless, I'm just being a silly sausage. A silly sausage. I've never heard of someone call themselves that. You've got a mission to carry out, haven't you, Techno? And we will support you in it. The best support I can offer you is another chance to practice your battle skills. I'm gonna win. Literally. I'm glad I, I'm glad just to get the opportunity to battle you. The fact that I've been able to grow so much as a Survey Corps member and work together with Pikachu is due to you joining us. Alright, she got three Pokemon with her. Mr. Mime. Oh my god, that looks creepy! That's the first time I've seen him in this game. No. 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 Uh, that's... That's creepy. And people want better graphics for Pokemon than this. Yeah, I'm gonna hard pass on that. I don't want anything creepier than Mr. Uh, Mr. Mime popping out. He's already looking hella creepy up here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, your hypnosis is really getting me irritated. On. Think he can pull out of it? That's gonna hurt. I figured that was gonna happen. Okay, so we need some electric type. Uh. He's Arsering! Oldo! Head. Strong style bulldoze it. Kill it, probably. There we go. Now, her third one is gonna be. Staravia. Okay. Well, out. Okay, so Ravia is a flying type. Ancient power could be pretty good. I'll have to go with the Omega. It's got that super effective ancient power move. Gotta be, gotta be worth it. My strong style is. All right, there we go. There's something so natural about the side of you and your Pokemon fighting. Me. About your mission in Iceland, well, it will be a challenge. Be careful out there. As for me, I'll set off for the Alabaster Iceland's fort for with see you there, my boy. Okay. I really hope. Oh, they just peeled up all my Pokemon. 
Okay. Ooh. Go ahead and save right here. Alright. I think this is the final area. I think. I could be wrong. It may it may not be. But it is be pretty cool. Why my micro? Alright. Oh! We should get the final ride Pokemon. Should. Which should be a Braviary. And I cannot wait to uh, shiny hunt Braviary. It is so cool. Oh, so beautiful. Blackbird. Mmm. The blue little psychic aura on his forehead is just so cool. There's something so cool about it. My word, it's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you made it safe and sound in any case. Very few venture to these alabaster islands. Part of the Tawahua leading the Odd Supply Corps excursion to gather materials. The Survey Corps, of course, must go anywhere that Pokemon are found. From what I gather, I speak Arena, where you'll find Avalug, is rather far off, I'm afraid. Doubtless this mission to tackle Avalug will be another dangerous one. Learn all that you can from Irita and Adamin to try to keep yourself safe. If it's anything like uh, Electrode, that... That was a pain. I didn't like it. How oh, aren't you freezing? I'm practically sweating. If you think this is bad, just wait. This is nothing compared to where we're headed. You know, I'm beginning to think the problem between us isn't a Diamond Clan thing or a Pearl Clan thing. Just a you and me thing. Quite possibly, it may be. We'll never see eye to eye on anything, will we? I don't see how we could, as long as you and your clan claim to your vision of an almighty Sinnoh that reigns over time. Forgive my bluntness, but if such a being even does exist, it's certainly not almighty Sinnoh. Yes, yes, believe what you want. Just tell us where we have to go. Exactly. Put your differences aside. We're headed to see my teacher, and he's only ever found in one place. Which is... Talking about that Garrick fellow, right? Where do we find him? At Avalug's legacy, obviously. Where else but a great mass of ice could I have meant when I said we'd be headed somewhere even colder. Ready to go? Yep. Stomp off without me. This is why I can't stand people who only care about whether time is passing them by. See you at Avalog's Legacy Techno. Take care on your way. Be. I really personally probably would have joined the Pearl Clan just because. One. That, uh. Meryl. Or. Melly. Yeah, the Melly character. I couldn't think of her name. The Melly character in Diamond really made me irritated like i did not like her character at all she just gave me i'm calling him a she again i did not like him at all i, I didn't like him at all his character was really off-putting and i didn't like him one bit there i corrected it hey, hey, hey. we are going to try to catch a couple of pokemon while we're over here um It would be rather nice to know how I'm supposed to cross this area. Do you take cold damage like in Breath of the Wild? Unfortunately, no. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like you take any kind of like cold damage like you do in uh, BOTW. However, that would be kind of hard because I didn't see a lot of clothing that you could get that would be warm pudding. Like there was just kimonos that you can wear. 
I didn't see a lot of like I didn't see a lot of like warm pudding cores, which kind of is off-putting considering there is like a really cold area here. You would think they would have warm clothes for you to be able to pick too, but no, unfortunately, uh, you don't get any kind of like damage. However, you can get frostbite from fighting ice type Pokemon. Um, it, it's not frozen anymore. It's considered frostbite and it acts as if almost like a burn in a way yep uh we were disconnecting for a few minutes let me know if we're reconnected i'm gonna check the stream as well Are we reconnected, guys? No, nope, I'm stuttering. Oh, no. Unfortunately, guys, I may have to cut this off from a live stream. I don't know if this will be uploaded or anything, but I'm going to continue playing through. I'm unfortunately going to have to continue playing through in a recording. I hope you guys understand. So uh, I do apologize. It is just being very hard right now. Uh, I don't know why it's stuttering at 8.32 p.m. So I don't know. But... Uh, we will continue through in a uh, recording that I will, you know, I'm not going to edit the recording. I'm just going to upload it because this is supposed to be a live stream. So I will see you guys in the next one. I am sorry. This will stay, this recording will, or this live stream will stay up as a VOD, but I'm going to upload the rest and like not part nine and a half let's just say that all right okay guys so we are in the recording part of this uh this was supposed to be a live stream but it kept on breaking up having nothing but uh problems with it so if you are coming in from part nine, I am sorry. I didn't can I didn't continue very much, very far. Uh, we are over here. They just said that hey, we're gonna go over to Avalog in the uh, arena, a big slab of ice. So yeah, uh, nothing really major happened from the last live stream and the recording. Let's go ahead and just continue through. Oh, Swinub, I want to catch you. Go Swine. That's Swinub. Alright. I am so going to shiny hunt Swinub. They're so cute. Crap. Also, I did just get a uh, Pokeball upgrade. Uh, last one we got, uh, instead of the Feather Balls, we got the Wing Balls. That's an Alpha, uh, Alpha Swine of. Ah! 
no, no, ouch. Pokemon do not want to stay in the ball for me. For some weird reason. I wonder why that could be. Yeah. Please don't see. Me. He's literally just nodding his head like, yeah, I'm nodding it to the music. Yo. gonna stand right here there we go bomb the snow caught cool ooh caught that one all right Okay, I thought that was like an alpha bergamite. We're gonna save real quick. I mean, well, that was a real slog fighting through those miserable icy winds to reach this desolate bit of nowhere. Well done, us. This gentleman is Avalux Warden and my most honorable teacher, Garrick. Okay, come on, Arita. You have a crush on Garrick. Let, let's just say he's shirtless right there. You are crushing on him hard. So show some respect, Adamin. Let's begin with some proper introductions. I am Garrick. I serve as one of the Pearl Clan's wardens. And you must be Techno, right? Of the Galaxy Team. Answer me this, would you? On what grounds do you come here seeking to quell Lord Avalog? He's in a frenzy. That leads to my next question. What is wrong with him being frenzied? It could trouble others. And I have another question. Setting aside any orders, what is it your heart tells you to do? Well, it's frenzy. Our mighty lord of the tundra, Avalug, has done nothing to trouble any person or Pokemon. Sir, please try to keep your cool. For now, indeed, Avalug's causing no trouble. But aren't we also duty-bound to free our people from living in fear that such a colossal Pokemon might begin to wreak havoc at any moment? We are. There's certainly some logic to that. But if that is what you hope to accomplish, then we must judge whether this child is up to the task. Who cares about the grandstanding? Let's get to battling. I would say let's not, but... I'm just closing out the chat and everything just because it was having literally the hardest time during the live stream. Keep up, and I'm not quite sure why. Last two days we were having perfect connection at night. I don't know what's going on. It seems to be 8 o'clock. Seems to be a big problem, so I have to do it like 10 o'clock live. If I'm going to do a late night live stream, it's going to have to be like after 10 o'clock, unfortunately. My musculature, my musculature is as hard and unyielding as ice. Think you can break it. Okay, I don't want to try to say that M word again, but I hope it doesn't mean what I think you just mean. Saying. 
Let's go ahead and we will. Oh, yeah, let's fire blast it. Double weakness. Heal ice. Bye bye. Alright. And. The strong style this. Easy. Z. That was probably the easiest fight that I've had. I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smashed me through and through. That sounded so bad. Ooh, you are making so many bad in your windows right now, Garrick. I suppose you can all get on with this with it now. This one's all right. Some may still have their doubts about a stranger like Techno, but I'll vouch for him. See, again, my in, my the, the real me would just go, like, with the Pearl Clan. They've been nice to me. Except for that other lady, except you were able to turn her from being such a pain in the rear end to actually understanding. So that one lady, yes, I can uh, at least get by with that. But I said I was going to go with the Diamond Clan. I'm going to go with the Diamond Clan. Then if you insist on quilling out the lugs, Frenzy, you'll want to claim some of that eternal ice he likes and bring it to my lord's seat. Good luck. Eternal ice, is it? For that, you'll have to be able to fly, which means you need braviary. Long story short, you've got to seek out a young lady named Sabby. Tell that long story. You're not saving any time if we waste it puzzling out what you mean. Isn't Avalug one of the Pearl Clan's lords? Seems a bit odd for me to do talking. But fine, listen up. This eternal ice stuff can be found atop Avalug's legacy here. But to get there, you'll need my clan's help. Not even Sneasler can climb the surface, let alone a person like you or me. You're going to have to approach by air with Braviary's help. Eric once managed to climb nearly to the top of Avalug's legacy. I'll have you know, he says he made it within six feet of the top. Make might la 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 might makes right, or at least height. Ah, tongue twisters in this game, I swear. About Sabby. How do I put this? Even when she's not flying with Braviary, she's got her head in the clouds. You'll understand once you meet her, head towards Snow Point Temple, and you'll probably come across her sooner or later. Abby? Oh. Perfect. My clairvoyance told me that I'd lead you on a chase. Think you can reach me? I see what you meant about Sadie, but why would she be up there? Seems you better focus on pursuing Ward and Sadie. And let me focus on my workout while I still can. Yeah, sure. Hi, dude. Um, how do I get up there? Ah. Hello, my name's Sadie. Nice to meet you, Techno. I've heard about you. You're super talented, right? I bet you're gonna be fun to play with. That sounds really creepy. What do you mean by play with? Are you wanting me to chase you while you're on Brave Ear and I'm on Weird Ear? That's an unfair race, by the way. You want Brave Ear's help so you can quell Avalug's frenzy, don't you? Well, you'll get it, if you can catch me first. Like in a Pokeball? How am I supposed to catch someone up in the air? Where the heck did she go?
That's exactly what she wanted. She wanted me to chase her while on Sne or Sneasler and Weird Ear. Heck no. You made it all the way up here and it's cold. But the question is, did you catch me? Or did I let myself get caught? And one more thing. Am I even really clairvoyant? Maybe. No one but me could really know, right? Anyway, the challenge continues. The next stop on our merry chase is Snowpoint Temple. Really, this is wasting time. The real question here is, am I really having fun playing with you, or am I bored? Oh gosh. Okay. Uh... Oop, let's not do that again. This is literally just a chase around. That's all this is. Ah. <sighs> I would like to catch that Pokemon. Sneasel. Why does it look so much different than the Sneasel I have? Hold up. It looks so much different. That's the Sneasel I caught. Are the boys... The only one that's able to be this one, and that's the Dark Eyes type. This is a Fighting Poison type. And it's a girl. So are the boys the only one, like, out of the regular, and then the girls are the Hisuian forms? Huh. Okay. I'm trying not to get seen by Pokemon so I can catch the Pokemon. Oh. 
No one need to catch one of these. Hi again, Techno. It's nice having someone new on here to play with. Safety in numbers or something like that. Anyway, here's Snow Point Temple. I've opened the front door for you. Just a little more chasing left for you to do. The real question here is, am I really having fun playing with you or am I bored? I don't know. Heard what Warden Sabby said. You have Warden Sabby's approval to enter, and by all means, do so. But be warned, those who cannot solve the temple's puzzles won't get very far with them. I've heard that the trick is to pay attention to which way the stone statues are looking. Come to think of it, I believe the statues have some sort of pattern in their chest, too. So I'm going to drop a hard save right here. Enter. Dang it. I'm gonna do something. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and I'm pretty... He's supposed to resemble Reggie's, like... The Sui and Reggie's. There are faint faces of a rock pattern on the statue's chest. It looks like a diamond. Star. Uh, diamond. No flake. And the broken rock, broken rock. I'm thinking it. I'm gonna go ahead and fight these guys, get them off my chest because. They're just over here causing a big stink. Of course, it avoids my attack and tries to kill me. And you hit. Thank you. You're gonna put it to sleep, huh? That's nice. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Yeah. Oh crap. Crap noodles. On this one. Thank you for killing it. Okay. Emerald, Snowflake, Broken Thing. Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to go up or down. I'm just gonna go up.
There are three panels fit into the door. Each panel has a pattern carved into it. There are faint traces of the words carved on the door as well. Whether the statues gaze, which panel do you press first? I think it it's the top right one, the heel. No, it's gotta be the rock. And then ice and then heel. Okay. No, it's okay. I'm recording it. I'm just going to upload it as a live playthrough. Maybe it's got to be... Oh, it's got to be how the statues are facing in here. Okay. I need to hit... A rock is that a rock rock heal and ice a rock heal ice it's how they are on the floor okay that's how I get it There's 18 wisps in this little area. Uh-uh. Okay, so ice. Rock. Steel. Ice, rock, steel. Ice. Ice, rock, steel, ice. Ice. Steel, rock, ice, ice. Okay, so that's obviously not it. Rock, ice. So it's ice, rock, heel, and it goes through the wall, rock, ice, ice, rock, steel, rock, ice, ice, rock, rock, ice. Okay. So all the way back over here. Alright, this one is ice. Okay, okay. You have to do it from right over here. Yes. This is the beginning. So this is steel. You know what? I got my phone right here, so I don't screw this up. Huh? Probably over. Can you just pause the recording? Sure. I can pause it real quick, no problem. If you want me to pause the recording, just let me know. Alright, so this is going to be steel. S for steel. Ice. 
As long as autocorrect doesn't screw me up. Rock. Ice. Hey, it's spelt Siri so far. Steel. Series. Rock. Siri Senior. Exactly what it's. Siri Senior. So, yes. Uh, we're going to go. Steel. Ice. Rock. Ice, steel, rock. That should open the door. Yes, yeah, call me a cheater. I did totally use my phone to. Hopefully, y'all didn't see anything. Okay. Yeah, y'all didn't see anything. Okay. I had my message pulled up. Uh, just making sure y'all couldn't see anything. Oh, Pokemon right there. Hello. Oh, it was a nimble Pokemon. That's not a nimble. That's an alpha. That is Glade. Glade don't like me. Catch you, Glade. Frickin' wall. Glade's just nodding his head like, what up, homie? I'm gonna get this Glade to stay in this freaking ball. You are one pissed off Galade. Please leave me alone. That thing came stomping around was scary. Um That's like 30 levels higher than me. Ah hey, I'm just gonna run away. I hope you don't mind that. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. I will do anything to leave, be left alone. No, no, no. We're not doing that. No. We are, no, no, no. Curlia, you too. Leave me alone. Now. I'm not joking. Do not come chasing after me. I am a very nimble person. You will break me. God, just the way that freaking Gallade was stomping after me. That was, that was scary. Oh, gosh. I guess I've been caught, so we're nearly done. That's no fun. Hey, remember my clairvoyance? It showed me something else. I saw you flying with Braviary. Do you think that'll come to pass? Well, however the future turns out, flying with Braviary isn't easy. If you really want to be able to fly high in the sky, prove to me you're strong enough. Gonna take us on. Now get ready, because here comes Rapierior, Magmortar, and Electivir. All three of them. Go. That is unfair. A three on one? A three on one? Can I at least throw three Pokemon out? Can I at least throw three Pokemon out? No. No. Three Pokemon. Just that is... You are one devious little child. Um, 
No, you devil child. Oh my god. That's gonna paralyze me, and I'm just about to get smacked by a ten-year-old. Oh, I am about to get smacked hard. That wasn't cool. Alright, that, that's padding. No. Take camera. I'll have you know, we're not funny at all. Devil Child. Good job, Samurai. I can at least probably get two down with Samurai. Maybe. I'm poisoned. Really? 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 Like, really? Do I not get to move at all? Am I just gonna get like smacked across the face by this 10 year old? And then Electric Beard, come up, Thunder Punch me. I hate you. I really hate your free Pokemon. I just thought I'd make that note. You know, some. I think I can finish off. I think I can finish off. Strong style with him. I can finish him off and maybe only get him on. That didn't do jack. Little girl, I am gonna have to literally buy. Can I at least do something? Game. I just thought I'd say it. I hate you. Oh, girl is no freaking Joe. Come on, let me hit. Thank you! Kill the right period! That way I can at least focus on one thing! I don't trust this. I'm gonna revive right this out. It's gonna hit me. Mm-hmm. 
and try to get some kind of damage on it. Let me kill it. That's nice. Oh, Earthring, I am hoping you will do good. I gribbled out of that. That was, a, that was actually a hard ass battle. I'm not even gonna lie. That was hard. And I like revive all of my Pokemon first before you decide to clap my cheek again. I, mean, I can only use like I can only make three more. Literally, that's almost all that I was gonna need. I don't want to use up those. Let's... Not kidding. When I say she literally was about... You clap my cheeks hard. Can I save now? That would be a good thing. So I don't have to redo that whole battle. That was a pain. That wasn't fun. All right, Braviary, why not test out Techno Strength for yourself? Eesh. Eesh. I'm glad I saved. Yeah. Flying type. That's a second time. Again. Out. I'm gonna swind it. Dead. Okay. That was easy. That was way easy comparatively compared to the last battle. That was hard. Can't believe Bravery lost, but that's that. Thanks for playing with me. Guess I'll head home now. Bye. Excuse me. Nah, -uh. I was kidding. Play along with me. Uh, play along with me on your flute. We got the sky plate. Nice. We got the final ride Pokemon in the game. Sure, having Techno fly around with uh, should be fun for Braviary. Yeah, I'm glad. A world where people and Pokemon live and work together, huh? 
tell me. Why do you think the lightning that comes from the rip caused these friends? Do you think this is Almighty Sinnoh's anger? Or do you think this is a trial it's putting to us? If it's a trial, if we prove ourselves worthy and we fall the last noble, Alm Avalog, and the rift really ought to close, right? Even if the one who seems to be clearing this trial is a newcomer like you, not one of us who've been living here in Hisui for ages now. How come you're playing all wise? I thought you weren't a big thinker, Adamant. Hush, Savvy. Hush, Savvy. I can feel history on the moon. And as far as I can see, the one ushering in this new era is you. So if I stick with you, someday I might get to meet Almighty Sinnoh myself. The question is, does listening to Adam and fascinate you, or bore you to tears? Anyway, heck no. Time for you to go soar with Braviary. If you jump from way up here, Braviary will take you gliding just about anywhere. But don't forget to get the eternal ice. That's why you need a bravery in the first place. Avalug's legacy is down there. Now, go get a feel for flying with bravery. When you're done soaring the skies and want to land, just ask him to dive. Awesome. Okay. Dave. I also heal up. My arc foe thing. Obtained a piece of eternal ice. You're not going to tell me what the phone said? At last, the summit is conquered. Flew down to this place and obtained the eternal ice, did you? What drives that burning zeal of yours, I wonder? You gave Eric the eternal eyes. I do have respect the effort you put in. I may still have my own doubts weighing on my mind, but I will still or I will make the necessary preparations so that you can face my Lord Avalog. Meet me at Ice Peak Arena. Now don't try to repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform. A leap like this can only be managed by highly toned bodies like mine. Of course he's a um, athletic freak. Well, if it isn't Techno, what a pleasure, finding a familiar face, or any face, in this far corner of the Alabaster Icelands. I came to bring Garrick an order of sword caps, and he was more than willing to have a chat about Avalok. What do you say? Interested in a bit of gossip? Sure. And why wouldn't you be? Well, Avalok, yes. The fifth of Hisui's nobles. 
that he is. And you know what? He's an absolute beast. Well, yes, according to what I was told, not only does he barrage you with chunks of ice, he also fires off massive icicles and can cause sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Doesn't that seem a bit too powerful to take on? What's more, apparently the Avalog of old could be up to a hundred feet tall. Doesn't that seem a bit too big to take on? Oh, you'll be alright. You just have to eat some sword caps, then give your training your all. Nothing better for building muscle than that. Onward now, to the arena. Hmm, yes, well, I did want to see that Avalug, but perhaps not at the cost of my life. So I suppose my freezing digit. So I suppose my freezing digits and I will be off. Well, it's probably because too high up. More than like. Alright. I'm gonna save a hard save right here. I don't know if I'll be able to beat this in one go. I don't know. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do with electrodes, but I did that in one go. Barely. So we are to quell Avalug as you wish. In the end, the strength of your feelings won out. Or maybe your real strength comes from the way that you walk among both people and Pokemon. But, or, well, I suppose I had better get to work making the bombs uh, using that eternal ice. I've heard how they are made, and with muscles like mine, it'll only be a moment's work. And there you have it. If you truly wish to quell Avalug, then walk on the path lies before you. But know that Avalug will hurl chunks of ice at you with relent. You'll need unrivaled dodging ability. Going. This is going to be a pain in the butt, ain't it? Ooh. He's telling me he's not that big. I'm screwed. Yeah. Uh -uh. Look at how big this one is compared to me. Uh, I'm screwed. This is where you literally say I'm F. This is literally where you say I am F. Basically, I mean right now this is pretty easy just dodging around whichever way it is Hey, hey, that's dangerous I only have a small area to run Ow Jackie Leave me alone Are You good? Okay. I didn't think that hit. I don't think I should have sent him out. What strong style this? I don't think this is gonna do much. He's level 56. Oh! Young Mega, you are good. But that's better. Okay, you, you know what? I can at least heal you up. I don't have much revives. Ooh. I should have gotten revived. Had to use all of them because that little kid about clapped my cheeks. Hmm. 
she just about did. All right, Ursa Ring. Let's see if we can hit you with the Bulldoze. This is the one I don't know how to avoid. It's the one that he lunges. Okay. I'm gonna avoid it that way. Okay, Teddy Ursa, I need you to do a strong style, strong style bulldoze. That did jack all, I'm just saying. Ouch! Why does he get to move twice? That wasn't in the script. Yeah. Oh, so he avoided my attack. Of course, I get two attacks when he avoids my attack. one revive like that was literally my only revive I can't make anymore can't no I can't I missed it. Bring this hit. Strong style.
Stop hitting me! I died. I actually died. The last hit. Oh, I'm doing this again. Fuck this. I've only battled him once. I've only done like one battle so far. I've already got him this low, so it's not bad. I have Lug's gonna get a second hit in into it, but should be okay. Did it! 
with only two battles. Whether that was the way to do it or not, I don't care. The way I did it. He is still freaking massive. I feel like if you got Avalog in its actual proper scale on this game, it would take up half the map. Got the ice plate. Eric, sir, you needn't look quite so downcast. But seeing all, uh, but seeing mighty Avla quelled and by such a slight child, a child that fell from the very sky, is this Techno Boy some kind of monster in disguise? He is no monster. He's the one who risked his life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzy. Suffering Noble. Heck no. Eric cares for the Pearl Clan with all his heart and believes in Almighty Sinnoh just as deeply. Though he has feared more than any of us that getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your galaxy team could cause our people to flag in their devotion to Almighty Sinnoh. That will change, Arita. I know your fears will change once you see that I've seen what I've seen. Techno has much to teach us. He's shown us how we can overcome all manner of strife so long as our Pokemon are with us. He's made me want to help Glaceon realize greater strength as well, and to see my whole world grow broader. It seems you've already changed, Irita. I knew you could pull that off, Techno. You quelled every last frenzied noble. So, is that space time rift going to start closing up now, or what? There's a little way of knowing for sure. Though the rift doesn't, the rift does seem perhaps a little smaller somehow. Let's hope so, anyway. Well, with any luck, things will settle down now. Although, even if the rift does start spinning out more of that strange lightning, we should still be alright as long as we've got Techno. Indeed, we should be. It's good to have him at our side. You know something, Irita. We may never agree on who's got it right about Almighty Sinnoh, but you Pearl Clan folk aren't all bad in my book. And look who's finally seen reason. Anyway, now that we've quelled the last noble, I say we pay grim old Commander Kamado a visit and see if he'll finally crack a smile for us. One thing I'm going to do is drop a hard save right here. Because we have quelled every frenzy in here. And then let us fast travel to here. And then let me rest so I can heal up all my Pokemon. Yeah, just got it. Yeah, just got it. Yes, let's go ahead, report all of that. Nice. And... Done quite a bit. Nice. Working up on getting our sixth star. Managed to quell Lord Avalog. Fantastic stuff as always. I'm sure the commander is eagerly awaiting your report to the village. Let's go. I think we're uh, going to continue playing because I think we're about to hit the area where I can't come back to Jubilife Village for some reason. I'm not quite sure. 
but I can't do any shiny hunting until it's completely done. So let's go ahead and just try to complete it out. I think we'll be finishing out the store today. over here let's get the let's get this little thing called the seas legend I already know about this one this is how you can get Manaphy and Fion I will do that in a little bit a little Easter egg if you have brilliant diamond and shining pearl the remakes uh you can once you have this save data unlocked you can go to Sinnoh and you can go to one of the cities where the library is the gym the water type gym you can go and um go to the library and you can see the seas legend book it fills it all out and you get told that you need three certain types of Pokemon and then you can go to one of the areas and get Fionn and um, Manaphy. Of course, they are all shiny locked. You can get multiple Fionn. And he's basically telling you everything I just told you. Okay. Um, I'm also going to go down here, pick up this one. Because again, I'm not really going to read it. I'm just going to go down and say yes, 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 yes. And get it. Now, let's go up and talk to Commander Kamado. Each of the Pokemon Nobles became frenzied, and now each of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation for why this calamity bef befell us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. And I think peace would be restored but to Hisui by the hand of our mysterious Riftborn helper. When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a, on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. Go nourish yourself with the wallflower and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget the survey corps' work is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in Hisui without fearing the Pokemon around us. That is now done. Go over to the wallflower, we eat. And we go and do something else, I guess. Thanks for this nice, sizable helping of potato mochi, Benny, old chum. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. Having the, mo la 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 la. Having the nobles all quelled puts a grave threat to rest. Now it's time we focused on our survey work. Though we still can't get, we still can't let our guard down around regular wild Pokemon, of course. I certainly had my reservations as to whether Avalug needed quelling, but if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. Yes, someone might have been under attack by some frenzied noble this very moment if Techno hadn't come falling out of the sky to us. I still wonder though, just what it, what is the time space time rift anyway, and what will make it go finally go? Wait, if the rift were to finish, that would leave Techno stranded here. Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I have no doubt. And even if we don't, you'll always have a home here in Jubilife Village, Techno. Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us and it'll be another hard day at work for the Survey Corps. Don't forget what we've got our sights on. Nothing less than a completed Pokédex. That's right. We'll get it done with Techno in the lead and me as the valiant assistant. Assistant? 
Come now, Akari, don't sell yourself short. You're a full-fledged member of the Survey Corps, too. Well, thanks for that, Professor. Then I guess I'd uh, better eat my fill and get plenty of energy for another long day tomorrow. You. Akum. What? Akum. Okay. A disaster now looming. Go ahead and save right here. Heck no. Uh, that space time rift is a lot bigger than what it was about five minutes ago. Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rift in space time. Now the entire sky has gone red. I word from the commander. You are to report to his office at once. What did I do? The way the sky has changed, it is ominous, very ominous indeed. Oh, okay. What's this about, Commander? You did call us here to discuss the quelling of all the nobles, didn't you? I can wait. There is more pressing concern here that must be addressed. The first strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Cleaver into a frenzy, it struck the night that Techno fell from the sky, did it not? It only seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Who or what are you really, Techno? Survey Corps member. Indeed, you've done all I ordered. That does not answer the question of who you really are. You came from the rift, as did the lightning. You're connected to these frenzies, are you not? No. Did you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you, you yourself brought about? I didn't do it. And having gained our trust, what then? What is it you really after here? Nothing. Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest Techno has, has wronged us. Exactly, and besides, do you really think he's got the sort of fearsome power it take to make all this happen? Let me ask you in turn. Can you prove beyond a doubt that he is free from guilt? This person, this stranger, appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee he is who he says? Who here can guarantee he is to be trusted? But that's... No, no one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What, if Techno, what is Techno supposed to do then? He will be given the chance to investigate this late, latest disaster. But not as a member of the Galaxy team. He remains a suspect unless he can clear his name. There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky, and so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the galaxy team. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No, until you've restored our world to its rightful state and proven your innocence beyond doubt. Is that clear, Selene? Yes, sir. How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in Techno? Do not attempt to intervene on his behalf. I will do what I must as the commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. But I have not forgotten your deeds. 
nor the unusual skill you have displayed. That is why I have chosen to let you walk out of here free rather than clap you in chains. Ooh, I hate this man. I really don't like him. I actually think I hate this guy more than, uh, Melly. Why does she look so happy? You're to be expelled from the village? What? Why? Why do you look so expressively happy? Orders are orders. Everyone's just staring at me. Now I still got a request for y'all. See if I do them now since y'all are really that hateful towards me now. However, the decision was mine to accept this stranger as a member of the Survey Corps. It is only right that I should personally escort him from the village into the Fieldlands camp. I'll also see him off. As will I, naturally. I'll allow it. Then, I'll mark you all down as bound for the Fieldlands camp. They've traveled. I had a feeling he was a bad guy. No, I really didn't think he ever trusted us ever to begin to begin with. He always kept saying, I somehow can't think that maybe you are tied to all these frenzy. I can't believe the boss would do this. We were acting on his own orders when you quelled the frenzied noble. Quite right. Moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn it red. This is utterly intolerable, and I might add absurd absurdly un unscientific. As a man of science, I must fight such illogical thinking tooth and nail. You must not. You will only cause Techno more pain if you are driven out as well for defending him. However, there are others who might offer help. You've been in aid to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Adamant or Irita might take you in. Though, I'm afraid they both already returned to their respective settlements. Perhaps you could try to go find Leon first. He's right. He's likely to be, a, be at Grand Tree Arena. Don't die alone out there. That's an order. I will, ins I will ensure you have all you need to complete the survey the commander has tasked you with. If I might offer my advice, in this life, you will meet with both admiration and abuse from others. How others choose to view you is a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. That is some real advice out there. If anyone ever feels like they just... that. Some people, they're afraid that some people may not like them. You can't help but how other people feel about you. You can only go about accepting it. You can't change how people feel about you other than just change how you are. But, you know, if people don't like you just because they don't like you, there's nothing you can change about that. So, quite honestly, that's some real advice. Okay, this is now getting real serious and... I was told that this game has some very mature type things talking about it. Stuff that you don't normally see in a Pokemon game. Kind of like Black and White. Pokemon Black and White and Black and White 2. They, again, I hold those two because they have the most mature storyline to it. But I was told this might challenge that. That this has some stuff that talks about topics that you normally don't see in a Pokemon game. And so far, they've already got stuff that are really true. Like, you can't help how other people see or feel about you. You can only just accept it and move on and go with it. But the real people will show themselves that are helpful to you 
you'll know who they are. And unfortunately, as Selene is Cyrus's, uh, as Selene is Cyrus's ancestor, I'm starting to think Selene is like the good version of Cyrus because she's there helping us. She's willing to help us do all this. And she hasn't really seen anything like bad about us. So I believe Selene might actually be good. I thought she would be bad considering she was Cyrus's ancestor. But that's changed. I really think that the commander is a really, really bad guy. And he's the one about all of this. All that truly matters is that you hold firm to your own values. That's true. As long as you are comfortable with who you are, that's all that matters. Don't care about what other anyone else says or thinks about you. What of the dream I first shared with you on Prelude Beach? Complete the Pokédex. That dream simply won't come true without you. I mean, oh, the save data is now changed. You don't have a picture anymore. That is sad. Big problem hitting that home button. You, what in the world did you do? Look at the size of that rift. If lightning starts pouring from it, all the Pokemon in Asui could be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan is in a panic now. I should have known that the only thing that would come from it, from that rift, was disaster. I should say never mind that. L. Oh well, that's not exactly something I can do. It's not that I wouldn't like to help you, but it would put Irita in a difficult position. I truly do wish that I could repay you for calling Cleaver's frenzy as you did. You must know that. There's nothing alone I can do for you. Warden May might be able to help you, though. She's a caring woman, after all. You'll most likely find May at the Warren Bridge, I believe. It's a very significant place for her. I'm certain that somewhere in the vastness of Hisui, there is a place for you as well. Jesus! This is becoming a runaround. Quite honestly. Is that Gyarados flying? I didn't think Gyarados could fly. 
It's just straight up. Oh. Okay. I didn't think Gyarados could fly. My, my, what a frightful sky. Such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. You don't know what brought this about, do you? I'm trying to find out. I suppose it was too much to expect that you could already have an answer to all this. I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to save you. Diamond Clan could end up in war with the Galaxy Team if things then went badly. I think you would regret that much as anyone. The Great Weird Deer took a liking to you. I want to offer you my support, but forgive me. I cannot help you in this. Do not abandon hope. Time solves all things. And besides, you seem to have a talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to find a path to walk. So where do I go? Kinda seems like I'm at a dead end right here. Can't go to the Pearl Clan or the Diamond Clan. It's like... I'm screwed. Aw, you little shanks. I'm not, I'm, I'm abandoning all hope. I'm going to go live with the Shinx and the Luxray. I'm, I'm going to be raised with the cats. Like being raised by tigers. I'm going to live off the food of the land. Strange events seem to follow you wherever you go, don't they? Found you at last, Techno. I've been looking all over for you, you know. What would I do if I were to lose one of my favorite customers? Don't worry, I've already heard what happened. The good merchant knows well the importance of staying abreast of all the latest news. It seems you're in quite the pinch. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. Say nothing of how poorly the Galaxy Team has treated you. But not to worry. There are still corners of the Hisui region where you, we can stash you away in secret. I know a spot that will be perfect to hide away. Leave it all up to me. See, Volo is a good guy. I'm so happy that he is one of the nicest in this game. Here we are. I know, I know, it's no palace, but you know the saying about beggars and choosers. I'm in the part where I cannot even... I can't shiny hunt right now. I, I honestly can't shiny hunt. I have to actually finish this game. This is where we can't come back to the region. So I know we're coming up on an hour and 50 minutes. But uh, I'm going to keep going until the game's finished. Jerking your work to come pester me again. Even beneath the bleeding sky, you never change. Always a pleasure, Mistress Kojita. But... I'm afraid I'm not here today to learn more of Hisui's missing legend. No mistress, thank you. Just Kojita. And this is... Why, Techno is the man of our uh, of the hour. He's the one who quelled the frenzy of all the no Pokemon ovals, believe it or not. Uh, the poor wretch you spoke of. Lost in time and space. Dear me, lost one. It seems I'll be able to fulfill my long duty at last, thanks to you. Now... I did do some searching up, and Vegeta is, um, I can't think of her name from Diamond and Pearl, the the, the champion, Cynthia, okay, uh, Kojita and Volvo, or, Volvo, like the car, uh, Volo and Kojita are, um, 
Cynthia's two ancestors. So, pretty cool. Lost one? I should have said duty, but... Indeed, I am to guide you, Lost One, for the task of preventing great disaster falls to you. The rift in space-time must be mended, lest time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. But come, you may enter my dear hideaway. There's much to be told. The space-time rift is said to be a portal to innumerable other dimensions. In one such realm, far and farther, still from ours, dwells almighty Sinnoh. The expanse from antiquity to eternity, and the expanse of the expanse to all sides above and below. Time traces the path we tread from here, uh, from the here and now into the future. While space, while blah, cannot talk. While space yawns all encompassingly surrounding us in every direction. You see, don't you? The two together, time and space, comprise all creation, the universe. How can one claim that either is greater than the other, as those two clans do? They're inseparable. Perhaps the truth is clearer to a wondering wonderer such as you, one who has known other ages. Now listen, lost one. Here is what you must do. Isui holds three lakes of great importance. Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Acuity. At each dwells a Pokemon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each will set you and bear their gifts to the shrouded ruins. There, you may receive the red chain. With it, perhaps, you can bind the world together. Bind the world, you say? You mean it won't close the rift? Kindly spare me your doubts, young men. I know the old words and what, did, uh, what they bid us do. How true they are isn't mine to know. And regardless of their truth, I am bound to pass them on. How callous of my ancestors to leave their legends to the children without a thought for the hardship it would cause them. But, here we are. You know your duty, and you'll do it, won't you? Of course. There is nobility in knowing what must be done and seeing to it. Your arc phone is beeping. You can see the location of three lakes marked on your arc phone. Miss Kajita's got a lovely workbench here. And if you need materials, I'll be glad to help. I'm always happy to do business with you. What about the pastures? Ah, oh, that is a problem, isn't it? What shall we do about that indeed? What was that cry? Have we now a lost Pokemon as well as a lost child? You see to it, please. How could I refuse you, ma'am? Off we go, Volo. Or, off we go, Techno. <laughs> oh, man. She's got a really nice, lovely house. I'm not gonna lie. Just nice little, cozy, lovely place. Let's we'll see what that cry was. Hello, hello. It's an Abra. Where did you teleport in from, little fellow? And it's got a letter. A letter addressed to you, Techno. Take a closer look at the letter. Or you take a closer look at the letter. The Techno. You may use my Pokemon as a go between to as a go between to access the pastures in Jubilee Village. I've also ensured that you'll be able to utilize our base camps without issue. I have every confidence in your ability as an adept Survey Corps member to bring this bizarre situation under control promptly. Sincerely, Silly. Survey Corps, Com uh, Survey Corps Captain, Galaxy Expedition Team. I hope she gets Commander. 
I hope she gets promoted to commander and commander commander Kamado that little punk gets kicked off I hope good tidings from the letter then now then so where to visit three lakes it doesn't sound like an easy task that's for sure it sure would be wonderful to have a kind soul who might help us out quite the opportunist aren't you Volo such a con such a consummate guild merchant I've managed to reassure my people for now the wardens are keeping the close eye on their nobles too seems all quiet seems all's quiet for the moment and so here we are but still we'll never get away with openly aiding you if we were to undermine the commander's direct orders relations could grow strained long story short we want to help but without drawing attention so it'll be just one of us me or her it's up to you though the answer should be obvious oh crap this is hard because pearl the pearl clan has been really really nice as that r the old lady was stuck in her ways but you were able to turn her about and help her realize there's difference out there and that she you warmed her heart up basically to help others even people who are of not of her own clan and diamond has that one irate little punk melly that i just really don't like and while deeply I said I would go with, or deeply I know I would personally go with Pearl, I'm going with Diamond. Obviously you'll choose me, right? Who gave you that Celestic Flute in the first place? That's right, the strapping young man. I say we'll think it over here. Of course you'll choose me. I was the one who got you what you needed when you first set out to Quell Cleaver. You and I made his bombs together. Oh my gosh. Why is this so hard of a decision? Alright, I'm going with that, man. Yes, oh. Oh, going back now. Okay. I'm so sorry, Irita. So then, the leftover leader will... Leftover? I'm not someone scrapped. I will keep watch on the commander. I imagine I'll hear something useful from him. Of course, of course. And the lucky chosen one comes with us to the lakes, and we can fill you on in on the details as we go. Well, the first task will be to decide which of the his, which of the Hisui region's three great lakes to visit, visit first. Right, and we had better get a move on. No time to waste. I'll meet you wherever we decide to go. We'd be in a hot water if we were to be seen traveling together. I'm counting on you to handle this, Adamant. Don't cause tech no more trouble. Oh, she's so caring. I feel so bad, but I did say I was going to go with a diamond clan. Holy crap. Okay, we got three main missions right off the bat. I'm going to drop a hard save. Actually... I really want to make some... Oh, I need some vivid chokes. Okay. Hey, I need some vivid chokes. You... Okay, well, you're just going to let me buy them. So, that's really helpful. Let me get 25. Of them. $17,000? I didn't even get a chance to say, are you sure? 
Well, I'm broke. <laughs> Let's head to... Oh, there's actually... Did I actually shiny hunt here? No, because I can't go back to Jubilee Village. Ancient retreat. This is the other area. Mm. Go to the field loans camp. Oh my gosh. Dude. What the heck? This is sad. Like, actually sad. Oh my gosh. Alright. This is probably going to be a pain in the butt. They say this lake actually used to be a volcano. Then it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water. And so, Lake Verity was born. It is protected by a Pokemon called Mesprit. Hey! It was when Mesprit took flight that people first learned the joys and sorrows of living. Or that's how the old tales go anyway. Their arc phone is beeping. I'm just gonna like NFC myself. Does this does this phone have NFC? Is it like tap to pay or something? Tap to open? That cave, it just appeared from nowhere. Is that the arc phone the professor was going on about? Now let's do this. Mistress Kojita seemed quite intent that you would have to prove yourself to all three of the Pokemon that guard these lakes. Challenge was never for the faint of art. Oh. Huh. You're saying save. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna make a quick bathroom trip, but it will only be like a few seconds for you. Alright, guys. We are back. So. Got me some tea. Stretched my legs out. We've been recording for about two hours now. And we're gonna finish the story today. I'm saving because this is apparently going to be very hard. There's something about this place I can't quite put into words. That is an Alpha Gudra. I need to put my tea somewhere else. <laughs> A menacing Pokemon stands before you. Bounce that thing, Techno. Prove to the Pokemon of the lake how strong you are. Alright, it's a dragon type. I don't have anything to go very well against dragon type. Oh, do I just walk up to it? Okay. <laughs> I thought it was like how you initiate every Pokemon battle. Oh, it's Steel Dragon. might hurt. Did Jack all to it?
I do know if we fail it, then it's not too bad. We can just go right back into it. it heals up our Pokemon right off the bat. Oh, I saw someone fail this battle right here. Nope, that's gonna hurt. It's gonna kill it. That's gonna kill it. That's gonna kill it. That's gonna kill me. Let me take my death. Thank you. Got that water type move. I don't like that. Ursaring's got a super effective move. Let's see if he can pull it off. Uh, let's do a giving him two run. Let's try a regular bulldoze. Iron Tail. Ursaring avoided the attack. Let's go ahead and use it. Strong saw bulldoze. Me first, apparently. Because I can just pop the change the stuff, even though the move thing up on the top right corner said I would hit first, but apparently effing not. Okay, going up the list. Action order. What is first? Is it the top or is it the freaking bottom? Caesar. Look, he's got a status condition. Winters. Yes, again. We can kill it. Get this one with the light. Of course, it's gonna miss, and I get hit again. Even though it said I had two moves, you effing liar! Why even have the freaking thing tell you what's who's gonna be moving first? I don't see any point into it when it's literally just a lie. Watch, the top one at the top right, right where I'm gonna turn off the little thing right here. Right now, I'm just gonna turn that off. That says, literally, at the top, I will be going first, right? If I hit this with the light one, it's probably gonna miss, yep. Then I should be able to hit again. No, it's gonna hit me again. What's up with that bullshit? Sorry to like cuss, but this is stupid. Yeah, go F yourself. Dudra. Jack off. I'm gonna take my jacket off. This thing is getting hot over here with all these lights. Come on, dude. Take this jacket off, please. While I get my butt. Uh, it is getting hot over here. Just try a regular tackle. Oh no, it's gonna miss. I've like, I literally don't have any. More craps to give. Oh. Thank you. 
why could our, this action order if it's not gonna be correct? Theoretically, I should move first. Oh, it's gonna let me. Get die, Gunther, like you. I'll go after you later. Not even kidding. I will catch it later. Until by watching that you and the Pokemon you've caught and those little balls truly understand one another. Now, let's see about the Pokemon of the Lake. Go on, Mistress. Mysterious present. Hey on! Your emotions. Share them with me. Okay. So it speaks from its mind straight to yours. Makes sense for a Pokemon that embodies an aspect of the mind, I guess. When you fell into this land, what stirred in your heart? Surprise. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Heartening. What did you feel when you mingled with the Sui's clan? But we're all so different. What did you feel when cast out of the galaxy? Sometimes life is complicated. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Mesprit's plume. Okay. Can't even imagine what that must feel like having a Pokemon talk to you without words. Well, the world's full of mysteries, I guess. I can hardly, I can hardly even be surprised. I think, like the, after seeing the sky itself so warm. Now, we have two lakes left to visit. I kind of figure I was gonna. Pokemon. I really hope that me doing this is not like a waste of my resources because they're gonna eventually heal up my Pokemon for me. I'd really hate to have that happen. Not gonna lie. Looks like that worked out well, Techno. Gotta admit, you know plenty about Hisui Volo. Right. You can say it's because I'm a merchant, but mostly I am just naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happened in the past that led us to this particular present. Or more accurately, I suppose. I want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my past, so to speak. I think we all like some that. Uh, I don't properly know how we came to worship Almighty Sinnoh in the first place. Have you even got some questions about its true nature? Weighty matters to ponder for sure. But we have an important task for us. You want to return to Mistress Kajita's home. Go back, I guess. Perfect. I'd like to see what she thinks of our progress.
Tom Mesprit's plume. But the legends told it true. Then the red chain must be real as well. I guess, but this all makes no sense. These Pokemon represent our minds and they'll give us the thing. And it'll let us mine the world and solve all this mess. But how? Why? Your doubt suggests a keen intellect. I see you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mind, for the rift to widen, the very world to end, you even know it. One might even say the world, time, space, all creation, exists only because our minds are there to receive. Perhaps the red chain is supposed to purpose is to let one see creation as it really is. I get it even less. It means they're inseparable. Time and space are together and you two just ripped it apart. Anyways, such are myths, my child, teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible way. Or just to think more for ourselves. On the nature of Almighty Sinnoh and on the nature of the world in all. Absolutely right. Myths and legends are such fascinating things to study. In any case, all we have to do is complete two more trials, and we will get the red chain. How nonchalant you sound. How confident of success to which you contribute nothing. You tag along only for the chance to gawk at more, more ancient ruins. Right. How many hours do I have in this game already? 36 hours and 47 minutes. Wow. That's a lot. Where are we headed? Headed up here. See if climbing up here I can get closer. There's a little area over there I can probably get in. A little bit of a cave. And we're gonna have to sneeze over the rest of the way up. Is that a Chimeco? Is this 
Action Mecha is gonna stay or not? Okay. He'll be tired, right? Nope. Okay, we'll get it later. Get it later. Get it later. Get it later. I'm sorry. Get it later. Ooh, Vasculesian. Vasculan, I can say. Nobody knows why though. Be a fluke of geography or perhaps it's connected to his Pokemon. Incacuity is protected by the Pokemon Nuxie. Nuxie took flights and knowledge of solved problems was born in people's mind. That's what the stories say anyway. Our phone's gonna let us through. A tool that can make caves simply appear from nowhere is quite a handy one to have. Let's go, Techno. I imagine there may be a Pokemon inside there protecting the Lake's Guardian. Take care. Oh, yeah. this is gonna be fun, I guess. Ow! I got cotton glasses. Okay, so that's like some of the crappiest thing. I have my hair stuck in class. My hair probably looks really, really messed up at the moment. Ah! Fighting with my hair. Now let's see what's waiting for us. Oh! Doric! Ooh. I wanna catch it. Catch it? That's an alpha's work. I really wanna catch it. Are we able to catch these? I still gotta say it. Be careful around that thing. What type it? I'm gonna save right here because I kind of want to get you. Oop. If I can't catch it, then I'll just go shiny hunting for one. I think it's ghost type normal, right? Normal ghost type, right? Yeah, normal and ghost type. Okay. Got a power bur power boost from Wild Might. Pokemon stats are boosted. The Pokemon also take damage at its and move effects such as poisoning a splinter. Uh, like on offensive stats are raised, boosting attack. Well, normal side of... I have anything that would be good again. Ah, 
้าวเฮ้ยแต่ควรจะบอกว่าแอคชั่นหรือไอโก้ก่อนโอเครีกิลต์ไปเลยอาวุธดีเลยเฮ้ยโอเคไอโก้ต้องไปกันโอ้ไม่เป็นไรไม่เป็นไรไม่เป็นไรไอ้ทุกคนที่ฉันไม่ได้ไปกัดมันโอ้ยไม่ได้ไปกัดมันโอ้ยไม่ได้ไปกัดมันโอ้ยไม่ได้ไปกัดมันโอ้ยไม่ได้ไปกัดมันโอ้ยไม่ได้ไปกัดมันโอ้ยไม่ได้ไปกัดมันโอ้ยไม่ได้ไปกัดมันโอ้ยไม่ได้ไปกัดมันโอ้ยไม่ได้ไปกัดมันโอ้ยไม่ได้ไปกัดมันโอ้ยไม่ได้ไปกัดมันโอ้ยไม่ได้ไปกัดมันโอ้ยไม่ได้ไปกัดมันโอ้ยไม่ได้ไปกัดมันโอ้ยไม่ได้ไปกัดมันโอ้ยไม่ได้ไปกัดมันโอ้ยไม่ได้ไปกัดมันโอ้ยไม่ได้ไปกัดมันโอ้ยไม่ได้ไปกัดมันโอ้ยไม่ได้Oh, no. Alright, what's up? What's up, Blondie? What's up? Um, I will test your knowledge. Okay. Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclop. How many are there eyes? Tell me each, one by one, yet all at once. And soon. Combi, two bat, a no. That has two. Okay, hold up. I need my phone. I just smacked my microphone. Sorry, guys. Combi has five plus two bat lies plus unknown plus Magneton has one, right? I'm gonna say one plus one because that spot only has one eye. Seven eyes. Enter your answers all together as a series of numbers. Combi is uh, Combi two, two bat two. Magneton one, desktop. Answer me true if answer me true. Um, Combi is that a magneton dust? So is it? Can repeat that. Ah, uh, hold on. Can you repeat that? All right. Combi has two. Two bat. Two. Unknown one. Megaton. Two two one two. Two two one two. Two two one. Two two one. Two one. All together is eight. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna cheat because I don't know the answer. What?
six. How is that the answer? 60131? How does the combi have six eyes? Does Zubat have no eyes? I know Unknown has one. Magnetone has three eyes? Is that really it? Six. Oh. One. Really? I know freaking nothing. Answer that song there. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world one. Apparently I know nothing. At all. Law. And my dude has the expression of auger. Like, does. Just one more to go. Let's go. I assume all went well, Techno. Still, I must wonder, why don't they just give us the red chain? Why all this running about? Guess I can think of two reasons. Keep the chain safe and detest them. Perhaps you were right. Who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands after all. So having said that, isn't the red chain for mending the world? What use would some villain have for it? Who can say for sure? Maybe the red chain has some other use besides mending the world. You could be well, you could well be right. I guess we'll have no way of knowing until we get the red chain for ourselves. So, while we return to the Mistress Kajita's home, let's go back. Wonderful, and then we can see if Mistress Kajita has any more insights to share with us. That's Uxie's claw. I sense a warmth to it. The Pokemon of the lakes are strange. They seem to play on your mind somehow. Indeed, yet we may want to add just a dash more speed. Things in Jubilee Village are end. What makes you say so? It seems a Pokemon's been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. One of those Ginkgo Guild mer merchants informed me that Commander Kamado has raised a force not to survey the Pokemon, but to subdue it, should the need arise. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants, you make it sound as if you're not one of them. Now, if, if a Pokemon truly were to appear from beyond the rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? That settles it, Techno. There's no time to lose. Got one more material left to find for the red chain. Let's go get it. That's the spirit. I'll come watch this horrific moment unfold too. Watch. Is that all you really do? Remember, once you sought the third lake and found what's needed for the red chain, and make for the shrouded rooms. Okay. All my Pokemon are healed, right? Yep. Save. Let's head here. Oh, man.
you know about Lake Valor? It's said to have been formed by a volcanic eruption, much like Lake Verity. Though, so, there are also other theories that say it was carved out in the midst of a Pokemon battle. This lake is protected by the Pokemon Azelf. When Azelf took flight, the will to do what needs doing was born in people's heart. Or that is what legend would have us believe. Our phone is beeping. Oh, a cave appears where there was none, as if just for Techno. In we go, Techno. I imagine strong Pokemon could wait inside, protecting the Pokemon of the lake. Take care. Ooh! What one is this I'm gonna be? Let's see what we're up against. Overquill! Okay. A menacing Pokemon awaits before you. Watch it, Techno. Heard about this one from my grandfather. Those quills, they're venomous. Let's do one more save. Jump for it! Yeah, they're venomous. I'm just gonna jump right into them. Fishy me. That sounds really weird to say. Alright, Samurai. Let's go. Yeah. That hurt. What type is Overquill? Dark Poison. So. Let's hide your bump it. Double edge. Sorry, Samurai. Alright, Overquill was hurt by damage. Ursaring, let's go. Strong style bulldog. That should kill it. And you defeated Overquill. That's my tech now. You feel a mysterious presence. No more riddles. No more riddles, please. Alright. Show to me, unyielding will. Strike me if you can. Okay, it wants. You throw bombs at it. Did those bombs just appear out of nowhere? Guess you meant to throw them at itself. Oh. You seem to hear a voice inside your head. Will you abandon this folly? I'm not through yet. You're gonna ask me if I'm abandoning it? You had best give up. Will you continue regardless? I'm not through yet. <laughs> I 
This thing is mocking the heck out of me. It's pissing me off. You struggle in vain. You press on. Please tell me my game isn't bugged. Disappear out of nowhere? I should meant to throw that. Oh, just appear out of nowhere. Oh, I guess my game was bugged. I was like hitting him with it hard one after another. Dude, I was lighting your butt up. That is unfair. A Zell's thing. Looks like our lake journey's complete. It seems we've finished the three lake trials. If I remember correctly, we were told to then head for the Shrouded Ruins. I don't know what could await us there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let us be on our way. Ooh. This is gonna be a pain in the rear end. Yeah, I saw these earlier. The Shrouded Ruins. Mist is so very good at obscuring things. It's long been said to blur boundaries. If we're to somehow bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need settings such as this. That being said, what are we meant to do now? Seems I've made it in time. Going up only when the time's right, huh? With age comes wisdom, I guess. I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Right, but how do we make this red chain? I would hardly know. We speak of a divine instrument, one said to be capable of binding the very world. You really imagine it can be forged by mortal hands. And what are we doing here? We don't have any more time to waste. Ah, the Pokemon of the Lakes. You received the Red Chain. Oh, it was true. The pact our the pact our people have passed down for all these generations has been kept. At last I can set this burden aside. You succeeded once again, Techno. Yet things do not seem to be going it so well for the rest of the world. What's that supposed to mean? I've had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. It seems that the commander is going to forego waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. What's he thinking? Even if he makes it up there, what can he do against a giant rift in space-time? Well, he doesn't yet know that our Techno has managed to get the red chain, now does he? That's right, we've got to let him know that it'll be alright now that we have the red chain. Even the commander should see reason then, and call off his foolhardy plan of his. Yeah, put him back in his place. Actually, can we just throw him to the brig? Can Celine be the commander? 
I would rather Selene be the commander. She's more nice. Heck no. Welcome back. It's been grim here. We in the Survey Corps hardly even speak to one another lately. But with you back, maybe Captain Selene's appetite for potato mochi will return. Anyway, wait here a minute, will you? I'll go and let the captain know you're back. Oh my dear Techno. The professor has been awfully worried about you, Techno. Of course I was worried, but I don't think I could hold a candle to the distress you showed, Akari. That's blowing it out of proportion. I don't think it's appropriate for an adult to make things up just to hide their embarrassment. But, where is the captain? Wasn't she coming along with you, Professor? She's buried under a mound of work, I'm afraid. We're to join her in the Survey Corps office. It seems her hands are more than full now that Commander Kamado is gone. Well, he set out for Mount Coronet with the Security Corps in tow. He's determined to handle this whole space-time rift business himself, including dealing with the Pokemon that's been spotted on the other side. That's why I was filling in for the regular guards, with Pikachu at the ready. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. So you managed to not die. Just as I ordered. Well done. I have no idea what you're implying. All I know is Aber vanished off uh, off its own accord and conceiving inconveniencing me greatly. Before moving forward, I must ask. I assume that you are here again because you've managed to learn something of use. Go on. You explained about the red chain you obtained. A legendary tool said to bind the very world. Commander Kamado is no longer here in Jubilife Village. The Security Corps had been scouting the area near the Space Time Rift, and they reported sightings of something on the other side of it. Something that resembled a Pokemon. The Commander made the decision to take the Security Corps to the mountain, so as to prepare to fend off any possible threat. They were to make the temple at the peak. However strong the commander himself may be, he should have gotten Techno to help. As the captain of the Survey Corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Techno, take that red chain to Mount Coronet. Make your way to the peak and put an end to all this. You are officially reinstated at your former rank. Are you certain you can do that with the commander away, Captain? If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should not have left me in charge here. That is what you do. There you go. Then I'll go as well. We're all in this together. We members of the Survey Corps. Naturally, no one suggests you should not. Aria. Oh, here's Rai, Ray's ancestor.
There you are, Techno. I read it's already headed to the Mount Coronet. How are things looking here? Commander is already at Mount Coronet. He's already started up the mountain? He must be more reckless than that dignified manner of his less on. Not that I can blame anyone for wanting to avoid wasting time. Well, alright then. Guess I'm going after him. Let me go first, Techno. If you were to show up with no warning, there'd probably be a fight. There's... Time's a wasting. I'll see you there. Who is the reckless one? Hey, you got run out of the village, right? But you still tried to find a way to help us all. That's right. Techno worked hard to get that red chain to help us. You're right. The fine job he did, too. Survey Corps is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here in the village, as well as for the sake of our relations with Pokemon. Thanks. Here, take this. Aw, thank you. Something tells me I'm gonna need it. The game just doesn't give you rare items like that and not expect you to not know that a boss fight is coming. Your orders are three. One, make for the summit camp, and from there, the Temple of Sinnoh. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. And three, return here alive. Alright. Heard the latest, so you've been accepted back into the Galaxy team, have you? I suppose congratulations are in order. Here, some max potions for me to celebrate. You obtained three max potions. It looks like the big moment is upon us at last, but no doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adamin and Irita have headed to the peak as well. My good friend Techno, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. It seems Kamado intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for his undertaking. As for me, I think I will set up shop closer to the temple myself. Oh, brat. Things certainly seem to have gotten out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, the great Melly will be here. For moral support, at least. Oh. Now she's... Now he's trying to warm up to it. I still keep saying he... Ah! Ah! Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this request. And head up here myself. Please leave me alone. Please ow. That's an Alpha Electivir. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. So rude. Still alive and kicking. 
Sorry about having to shutter the wallflower. I'd much rather be there now serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. But that taskmaster, Kamado's gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to put even those old bones to work. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time we got rid of you once and for all. What? I'll make myself plain. As Kamado's right hand, I'm charged with executing all the gritty deeds Kamado can't or won't do himself. I gave him my word I'd get rid of any fools that might dream of getting in the way of his plans. Besides, it's not just Kamado who longs to live in a new home free of fear or strife. His dream is mine now, too. You've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you're meant to use them. What? Dude's a freaking ninja? That is weird. When I heard you managed to quell those nobles one after another, oh, did it ever make my blood run hot and my heart pound. At last, at last. Oh, he's a bad guy. Only freaking psychos make potato mochi every freaking day. One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques that have been left to molder all these long years. Kidding me, man. And four Pokemon. Oh my god. That's Magius. Oh god. I don't like the fact that it's 59. Then he sent out Sneasler. Sneasler is a crap ton hard to beat, okay. Uh Sneasler, Sneasler, Sneasler. I think was a fighting type. Alright, Yon Mega. Strong style air slash. Art of War. Oh. A psychic normal. Oh. I get. Uh. All right, two for two. It had ominous wind. That would have been. Freaking good for it. I need to throw one of my Pokemon away. Like, I need to throw it away so I can actually heal up Yon Mega. I don't know if I'm supposed to use this yet, but I'm going to. Uh, Gardevoir, you can back the off. Oh, thank you. It's burned. All right, well, that's down. Don Mega, let's go. I'm gonna regular ominous wind it. All right, that's dead. 
Who's this next one? Blade. I go cut. I'm this one did again. Sword stance. That's not good. Ominous wind again. Dead. Here we go. Ah. Ah. Freaking idiot. All these people you thought were so nice to you. They were really planning their demise. Your demise. Like, it's stupid. Only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target they know they cannot beat. And to be honest, I don't hate you. I'd actually like you after a fashion. At least for the skill you show in battle. But listen well, Techno. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Mato and I saw our hometown burned to the ground by Madden Pokemon running amok. We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. That's why Komodo came here to Asui to try to build a new home where people could live free fear. To achieve something truly great, you sometimes have to take extreme actions. If hypothetical as it may be, a Pokemon were to appear from within that space-time rift, Kamado might lose hold of his reason. Save Kamado from himself. By force if you must. Do that, and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach can handle. Dude. Can he just heal up all my Pokemon? Okay, cool. Is there like another fight coming up or something? We actually just hit over three hours on the This is gonna be crazy, dude. You brought the red chain? Heck no. You're the only one who can stop whatever is unfolding atop the mountain. That Pokemon, that's apparently been sighted through the rift. I think it might be Almighty Sinnoh, but... Mando Kamado stopped us from heading toward the temple. You again. I've heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. A welcome idea, but I can tr can I truly put my faith in such tales? What do you think even the red chain is some trick on Techno's part? He worked mightily to get that thing, and I should know, I was with him the whole time. I saw him rise to the trial set by the three Pokemon of the lakes. If he somehow concocted all of that all on his own, then what hope do we even have anyway? Perhaps you are right, but if I were to simply place my faith in this boy, and that faith were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? And don't leave. They don't want you. You're a piece of crap. In my opinion, at least. Then work together with us. If something go wrong, I'll take the complete responsibility. Fine. Enough. Let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Stay smooth your Pokemon Techno. Today we battle in earnest. Me, running. Oh, 
Okay. Braviaries. Uh, psychic, so I can mm, just get my butt whipped because he's gonna move first. The second I thought it was gonna miss. Done. Stop. He's a normal type, so don't have anything super effective really against it, but maybe I have to go with Yonnega on this one. Ancient power. That's a faster raise. And then... I slash it. Halfway through. Call that Snorlax bad. Follow. Shelf Rock. Uh, let's lightly do an air slash. Maybe end off doing a strong one too. I think a strong style bulldoze will end it off, but that may be a bad idea. Get impact. Well, that screwed me. Gives me down to three Pokemon. Weird ear. We're playing Agile Psy Shield Bash. Of course it avoided the attack and now it's gonna hit me. I hate you. All my freaking passion. I gotta heal up some of my Pokemon, I really gotta heal up. I'm really starting to hate this dude.
is probably gonna hurt. Oh. We'll put it to sleep. Come on, we get killed. Hot, don't let me down. Oh, I need to heal up a couple of tokens. I think I might have something that might pull it. All I can do is just revive right it. I, I can just revive right it. That's all I can do. Dude, this is literally all I can freaking do. Just keep reviving dead Pokemon. No, I just, I need to keep reviving. Kill the Rapidash. It's just, it's one, it's one to one me. I really hate this mother freaker. Can't. If I cuss too much, I'm gonna get the mock though, so it's really irritating. Come on. You just do like baby doll vibes and that's it. Stop draining, kiss me. Really hope draining kiss my ass. All I want. I gotta attack. I've gotta attack at some freaking point. It's not gonna do jack anything. Agile baby doll eyes and strong style online. That's what it's gonna do. Oh, strong style. Agile style psychic. You know what? I'm done. I'm just gonna fucking get killed.
Kill me. Kill me, Clefable. Kill me. You know you want to. No, oh, why didn't you kill me? Because you don't want to. You want to toy with me a little bit longer. Thank you. Flipping it all. Go F off. You stupid monkey. Of course, let me get hit first. Why the heck not? Spike my freaking controller on the ground. Oh, God. Smash me with one move. Kill me. Watch it. Max Potion! Kill me with your headbutt. I really hate this freaking Snorlax. Go ahead and laugh. Now three to three. I literally have no freaking switch but to try to get a fire blast with this one time. So annoyed at this point. This one I'm really annoyed.
not even joking when I say I am really freaking. If I do, if I choose to do that today, I'm actually getting pretty pissed off right now. Not even kidding. That did nothing. Oh my god, go F yourself! I'm not even kidding when I say I am just off. Take a drowsy. I don't want it to move. I don't want it to move. Good. Apparently it's not too drowsy to do that move. It is supposed to be asleep. I'm going to revive right it again. Hypnosis works. The fable jump off a cliff. I mean that. Those jump off a cliff with the command. Thank you. Oh. Very good off the cliff. Go! Why do I bother? I'll resume the recording when I come back and the game's up and running. Okay, we're back. I change. <clears throat> I change some of my Pokemon's moves. I can't really have them, that woman up there, teach my or max out my stuff. So I'm just screwed at this point. Oh, I'm speed throwing this shit. I don't care anymore. Come on, come on. I don't care. All of this already. Let's go. I'm eat off. Let's go.
I'd like to smack this man off the side of this freaking mountain. Oh. And rip his mustache off. He's gonna hit first, obviously. Can't do anything about that. A strong style that. Uh, Make some kind of play here. Sometime. Wrong style holder. I did nothing. Then headbutt. Big impact. Okay. Uh, just for y'all know. My Pandora literally just started picking up a playlist. That's not okay. And from that, not even a playlist that I have on my Pandora. Okay, my phone's haunted. Now I gotta deal with the haunted phone and the fact that Commander Kamado doesn't want to let me through. What can I do that's effective against him? He's all say effective, but I doubt it. I mean, I'll hit him with the freaking hypnosis. Nothing. Still, Giga impacts me. He is supposed to be asleep. If it's not clear that I'm not happy at this moment, it's going to be clear here in a few seconds. Make my day. That should have killed it. I used max potion, why didn't it? Because he has to have at least a max potion to use? Because it's some bull crap! Through your calm mind and baby alive and your sight. If it gets to move twice right off the freaking bat! Why does it get to move three goddamn times?!
Why does it get too good? Please got that point! Pump it. No, it's gonna miss. But it'll calm mind and it'll get to move three times. At this point, I wish that was a Kami on by Goku. Honestly, or Spirit Bomb. Erase it from literal existence. Riding the waves of the revives again. Know that. Y'all know that song? A, B, C, D, E, F. Yeah. Come to mind right now. Again, and again and again oh but guess what that's not gonna mean jack shit because it still gets to fucking move and hit me I put a broken mechanic in a game such as this Breaking in my mini fridge and bust out from my bottle of wine. Things to piss me off. I didn't think that was fine. Why in the fuck did it send out our string? We'll be back momentarily. Okay. We are back. I just looked up how to do this. I changed my team up. And they say he's easier than Benny. Yeah. So far, that's not proven true. I beat Benny pretty easily. So, I just changed my team up. Now I gotta go through this whole sitting thing again. We're going to try to see how this works. Sent out. Send out Yon Mega. He's gonna hit me first. Oh, he's not. That's just an ominous win. They said it's weak against the ghost. Air slash. Maybe I should have done a... Uh... Strong style ghost. Kind of. 
may have been a little bit better. This will kill it. I'll send out... Snorlax next. It's gonna Giga Impact me. Miss. Nope. This is where we're gonna switch out. This is the worst team than what I got earlier. I'm already down by two. That's dead. Fables here. I said I need steel type for this. So. I hate this max potion bullshit. It's another one! No, you're just gonna hit me, okay. Not very effective. I'm gonna strong style that one more time. Not gonna be effective. Flash can I'm actually just gonna use a regular pack. Flash cannon. And then Gollum. He's gonna use double edge. Not gonna be very effective. He's gonna damage himself from recoil. I'm gonna take this time to go up and heal up. Oh. Max potion my samurai. And let me just try to strong style a skill type move on. I don't think it'll do much. Never mind, it's gonna fucking kill it. Oh my god, thank you. Sorry for cussing too much, guys. I've been at this for a while. Oh my god, I'm so happy to be done with it. I kick him off the freaking edge. Ah. Oh. Yeah, bow down, bitch. Now I apologize sincerely for doubting you. This is when you Randy Orton punt this mother. Okay. Alright, I'm good. I'm good. Anger is gone now. <sighs> Not this for almost four hours. And I wish that was whiskey, it was tea. <sighs> I know I have no right to ask it of you any longer, but please use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition team, for the sake of the Celestica people, and all the Pokemon living in Hisui. You're lucky I'm not my character in, in the game. I would have just RKO'd you right off. <sighs> Don't worry, Commander. We've got the red chain. I'm gonna save. How are my Pokemon looking now? And I had to basically use all except for none except for one of my shinies. 
All right, whatever. I don't really care. Again, I'm going to just save. I don't want to do that fight again. I literally had to look up how to beat this man. Oh, look quick. I wonder just what is happening on the other side of the space time rift. Oh. It's time to use the red chain. Let's see what it can do. Hold on a sec. My head. Something's talking inside my head. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me, then human. Admin, what are you saying? What do you mean, catch you? Almighty Sinnoh? I think Almighty Sinnoh just spoke to me. It's telling me you hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, human, for the fight to come. Take these. Ten Ultra Balls. I don't think that's... I'm probably going to need a lot more than just ten Ultra Balls. Oh, man. What is going on? That is Dialga in its origin form. I wonder if I pick Palkia or if I pick Pearl, the Palkia come over. Red chain broke. Biscuits, man. I don't have any fire type on my team. In my microphone is yeah, Samurott is dead. Ooh. Aircross, can you at least do your rock smash? Throw my own mecha, hopefully he doesn't get too much damage. Yes, throw an ultra ball. I think this is gonna kill it. It's got splinters. I have to reset. I defeated it, but... I don't trust that.
If I was able to throw a, po a Pokeball at it, I don't trust not catching that. Or else I will miss out on a Legendary in this game, and I'm not going to have that happen, guys. Oh, gosh, that means we're going to be easily over four hours for this video. This is going to be fun to upload. I may scrap the live stream. I may scrap the live stream on my channel and just make this whole thing part nine because I've been recording since the entire thing started. Let's try to catch you. Oh, well, I'm trying to catch you. He's going to give me the 10 Pokey, the 10 Ultra Balls. I think I'm going to try starting to catch it when it's in the yellow. Maybe that'll make a difference. Yeah, it's going to come through. I really hope Palkia doesn't come through next because it's going to be a pain in the rear end. They said it doesn't matter what clan you pick, you still get to catch both legendaries. But still. Thing at all. Let me send out Samurai. Should have been the first one to come, come out, anyways. Wrong style. Triple hit. Those are going to dig into him. For the time. Probably going to kill it. And the yellow. Throw a paracross. Throw an Ultra Ball. Well, I caught the Alga. I'm glad I restarted. He caught it. The red chain has shattered, but we owe the Pokemon of the lakes our thanks for getting us this far. Oh, well done, Techno, my boy. Masterfully handled. I was watching you the whole time as you battled and caught your way to simply stunning victory. You're truly, you truly are the pride of the Survey Corps. Looks like I, I taught him well. Hey, it's happening again. I can hear Almighty Sinnoh. No. No, it's called Dialga. Mighty Dialga is speaking to me in my mind. Space. Time is torn. Awful power spills forth. The frenzied one comes to fight. Now, human, fight it with me. You're telling me there's another one? But the red chain smashed to bits. No way even Techno could ta tackle another Pokemon as strong as the last one now.
Alkia, ain't it? Alkia is the frenzied one. I wonder if you pick the Pearl Clan if they switch. All of you, we must vacate this. Forget the fancy talk. Book it. Come on. We gotta make it back to the summit camp while we still can. We need to leave before this other almighty Sinnoh decides it wants to fight us. Commander, we can't just leave it here. You dunce. You won't be any use to anybody if you die up here on the mountain. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get done. We gotta get gone. Get done. Get gone. Now he's actually talking my style language. Such dreadful power. It's certainly beyond our current capabilities to survey such a creature. I'm amazed you even managed to stay on your own feet before it, Techno. And did you notice the energy pouring out of the rift? It seems like that a buildup of this same energy was what caused a strange lightning that threw the noble Pokemon into their frenzied states. Can't believe they're really too almighty Sinnoh after all. Guess that means neither of our clans is really wrong. Ah. Uh, I must apologize from the bottom of my heart. To the both of you, as fellow leaders. You saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your trust in Techno. And to you, Techno. I acted ill considered presumption. I acted on ill considered presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition team, forcing you to face great hardship alone. And despite all that, you still strove to save all of Hisui. Well, yeah. I kind of like the people, except for one person. Yes, even Melly. I, I kind of like him over Commander. Like, mm mm. Well, it's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space-time riff. And we understood, Commander, that you had reasons to act as you did. Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We've left things in quite a state up at the temple. That's the stuff, Mr. Professor. You'd fa rather face what's in front of us than dwell on the past, huh? Just what I'd expect from a real scientist. A dependable attitude indeed. Yes, let us move on. No need to speak any further about my rash actions, not to mention my loss of composure. It seems that having Techno about has been a good influence on all. Yeah, thank goodness you were here, huh? We'd have no chance getting through this disaster without you. Still not through it. How is he to keep fighting? The dread chain is shattered. Relax, I've got a plan. Thanks to what, all, thanks to what mighty Dialga told me. Yalga? The Pokemon that spoke to you? Yeah, and along with its name, it also told me what we needed. The Stone of Creation's Beginning. The red, the Chain of Red. The Vessel of Humankind's Invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now, pervading space. And finally, Mighty Dialga said it wants to go with us back to the temple. Well, the red chain we have, at least. The pieces, anyway, I did collect them. On the Vessel of Humankind's Invention, I dare say that might refer to a Pokeball. That's got to be it. But what about the Stone of Creation's beginning part? Leon might have some idea. His knowledge He's knowledgeable about stones and minerals. He's even got... He even goes digging for ore sometimes. Is that so? Warden Leon, Warden Leon will be a fine resource to consult. What are your thoughts, Professor Laventon? Do you have any idea what this stone could be? Oh, upon my word, perhaps I do. Echo, my boy, could you lend me those plates you received from Weirdeer and the others? 
The ones that Volo ha said had messages engraved upon them. Uh huh? Just as I remembered. Here on the back of the Earth plate it says, when the, univer when the universe was created, it shards became this plate. I think this may be a hint to what we need. How do you mean? Do you see, we must search for stone, or rather ore, I suppose, that shares the same material properties as these plates. In fact, I believe that young Lian might know just where to find such a thing, as he said he'd been investigating it at Volo's urging. Now that you mention it, that Volo fellow's come around the diamond settlement asking about those plates before too. It seems like a lead worth following. It's decided then. Thus begins our search for the Stone of Creation's beginning. Although the name is rather a mouthful, wouldn't you say? I propose we call it Origin War. Irida, may we ask for your clan's aid once more? Of course, I'll call Lee into the summit's camp at once. I waited as long as anyone could reasonably expect, but my inv my invitation just never came. So I decided to honor you all with an unsolicited visit. Be glad and rejoice. Oh god. You're annoying. Now Adamant, I see all these other lots have their little tasks be, be getting on with, but what of the blah 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 Melly? I'm just gonna say blah 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 Melly because you're not great. Where's my role in all this? I'm your leader, Melly. Show a shred of respect, would you? Oh, old. Just hurry up and give me a job, great leader, Adamin. Make it a good one. You want a job? Fine. Your job is to support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking after their nobles and keeping the other, keeping the people of our clans from panicking. Take a hint. I am so glad he is telling her, telling him off now. Oh, Adamin. Oh, 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 you silly, foolish boy. You are a silly, foolish boy, Ellie. Don't you understand anything? Everyone has work that are suited, they are suited to, and work they are not. And no, before I forget, it seems you weren't entirely useless after all. Well done. Take this as a reward for your adorable efforts. Just my way of encouraging the little people. And you're also compared, and you're also little compared to me. I would love to kick you off this mountain. <laughs> Just as I say that with a smiling face as my character. I would love to kick you off this mountain. I brought Leon. Yeesh, that ugly hat suits you as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. I should be the one consulted for my wisdom. No. Asui's ores and stones are her precious resource. Since I was the first to realize the, that fact, it's only natural that I should be the first consulted. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it up with Cleavor in battle. With that bumbling ball of yours. I'm not going to read anything you have to say. Give it a rest and play nice with the Pearl Clan folks for once, would you? Bigger things are at stake here. Everyone back home is all worked up about the fact you were spoken to by Almighty Sinnoh, Mighty Diago, or whatever. This is the Diamond Clan's day. Be proud. Warden Leon, if you would. Certainly. Then let us set out at once. We make for the the uh, we make for the Primal Grotto. Hey. And I like stay right here. We went through like a bit of story right there, and I can't freaking. Just gonna fly over there. It's faster.
Ouch. Bonk. What a curious cave. I feel some extraordinary power over here. As if the world itself was created in this very place. What do you think, Leon? Taking in consideration my knowledge of ores, my skill at mining, and the strength of my Slagoo's moves. I think you'd better leave any extraction work up to us, wouldn't you say? We're going to have to ask you to stop right there. Who the heck are you? Oh, not these three. Are you going to go about... We don't have any time to waste with. Yeah. We haven't seen you since you walked out on the clan. Where have you been all this time? I don't have to tell you nothing. Look, you can carry on digging out that treasure you're after, and then you'll give it to us. I don't know why you even look surprised. It's not as if you were hard to follow. What we seek may be as what we seek may be as precious as treasure, but this isn't about how valuable it is. We need it to restore the awful sky to normal. The earnest goody two shoes act of yours is what made me leave the Pearl Clan in the first place. Enough. I don't care why any of you ran off to play Bandit, but I won't let you get in Leanne's way. There are three of you and three of us. Let's go, Techno. You take charm. I hate their sayings. It's so stupid and so fishy. Cheesy. It's so bad. again. Oh. Summer out, let's go. Come on. Agile Hypnosis, of course. And then a Shadow Ball. Oh. Yep. That's gonna suck. Now we're just gonna go there. It, that's gonna kill it. That's gonna piss me off even more. Oh, I didn't get to read that. Times are changing, we're changing, and we really and we could really use someone as strong as you are. Joking, I've got no interest in living back in that place. All its stupid rules. Look, we'll let you keep a treasure this time. You better do something about that sky. 
You are as strong as ever, Techno. Maybe you really can do something about that monstrous creature at the top of the mountain. Even if you do, the next time we meet, you won't escape without be without a beating. Remember that. Honestly, those three. What did they even come here for? Oh well, I'll heal up everyone's Pokemon. The coin that I remember never hesitated to help someone in need. Even if she groused as did so. I suspect they may have been worried about us. Perhaps even wanting to help. Then they should have just said so. What a pain they are, hiding behind all that attitude. Exactly. I was able to extract some of the origin worm, or whatever you wish to call it. I suppose I had better go with you, Techno. No, you simply fail to recognize my skill. You ought to be praising my hard work, honestly. I think we could count on you, Leon. No wonder Cleve will recognize you as a worthy warden. Let's hurry back to Mr. Profe uh, Mr. Professor and show him what we got. That Lavington's got sound. That Lavington's got sound judgment plus knowledge to spare, despite his silly streak. seeing me nothing is seeing me I don't know what is honestly seeing me maybe if I get into an encounter Oh wait, I want to change my Pokemon. Oh! Well, Dialga's going to be put onto the team because he wants to go with us. I can work. Now, let's bring my Pokemon back over. Oh, crap. Go ahead and save again. Alright. Oh man, this is a long playthrough. So this is the stone of creation's beginning, the origin war. Mm hmm Yes, once uh one can certainly feel an imposing aura emanating from it. Could this be the feeling of the very origin itself? I've been meaning to ask you since you brought that up, but the origin of what exactly? Of everything, by the sound of it. Exactly, my girl. Now Back to the back, we go to Jubilee Village. Okay, back to the village. Me 
Here you are, Professor Lavington. What remains of the red chain, broken as it may be? Splendid. Even in pieces, I think we'll find it still perfectly fit for purpose. We're jolly lucky to have you... Uh, lucky you had the foresight to pick up all these broken bits back at the temple. Your turn, Techno. Next comes the Stone of Creation's beginning. Handed over the origin ore. The fragments of the red chain collected at great personal risk by the Curl Clan. Then the Stone of Creation's beginning, which we first learned of thanks to the Diamond Clan. Now, it is time for the Galaxy Team to play its part and turn these items into a proper vessel. Akari, my girl, you are one of our team's greatest craftspeople. Could I ask you to do the honors? This is my true battlefield attack now, even if it may be safe indoors. This may take us some time. Perhaps the rest of you had best wait outside while we work. Come on, Mr. Professor. Wish they'd hurry it up in there. I'm starting to suspect all your prattling about the value of time is cover is a cover for your own impatience. If sitting back and waiting actually solved things, I'd sit forever. Because I'd be using time well, unlike this. You've done it. Techno is complete. I dub it the Origin Ball. If the message conveyed to our good clan leader can be believed, then this should allow you to catch the Pokemon that has appeared at the Temple of Sinnoh. You obtained an Origin Ball. A single and irrepli irreplicable Pokeball that can be used to catch a frenzied Pokemon raging at the Temple of Sinnoh. These Pokeballs of yours are full of wonders. To think the fate of all Hisui could rest in something so tiny. It's interesting how catching a Pokemon in one of these things brings the two of you closer together. Oh, hold on. That's that voice I hear it in my head again. You mean Dialga? Yeah. It seems like Mighty Dialga is willing... Seems like Mighty Dialga is willing to lend its strength to this fight. That's what it's telling me. That's certainly excellent news. Diamond Clan's almighty Sinnoh, or perhaps I should say Dialga, is fearsomely powerful. Everything's ready now, Techno. Take the Origin Ball and hurry back to the Temple of Sinnoh back together with Dialga. Oh. Does this mean this is almost over? Sorry right, guys, this is almost like 1 o'clock in the morning. I may not get this video out until tomorrow. Let's save it. Like again, it's like 4 hours, 16 minutes of this recording. This is like a long recording of... Probably the longest recording I've done. I might just scrap the live stream and go with the... Uh, uh, go with the recording of it. Here you are, lost one. Ready to face your fate atop Mount Coronet? Seems a vicious battle might await you. Oh, well said. Now, hearken to my words, young ones. Time cannot be severed from space, nor space from time. The being you will encounter at the Temple of Theno is Palkia, ruler of all space. If it is allowed to run wild, space itself will warp and bend here in Hisui, and eventually the very world may be broken. But you have the aid of its counterpart, Yelga, the ruler of time, and therein lies hope. Balance will be brought to time and space, and the world can once again be as it should. Now, Take the Alga at your side, and make for the Temple of Senna at once. I must say, this is quite the intriguing village. Perhaps I'll have a look around before I go, see what your clothier has on the offer. Excuse me? Is this the time for shopping? 
Well, I'll hardly have time for shopping if the world ends. Hello, young man. Fair point. Alright, Techno. Once you feel ready, set out. We make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Oh, man. Ah. This is a long playthrough, guys. So if you haven't already, please make sure to hit that like button, because I am super tired at the moment. <laughs> like, no joke, I am pretty beat. Uh... I'm gonna get this video up tomorrow again. I'm probably just gonna scrap the live stream that failed and just try to um, Yeah, I might just scrap the live stream and upload this as a full video. The beginning part is part of a live stream, but the live stream failed because of internet problems. Ironically, having internet problems when I was having perfect time. What do you want, Volo? Oh, not a battle. You can buy various sundries at the base camp, but I thought it might be helpful to you if I set up here, closer to the temple. I want to have front row seats if there's a chance to see the world of myth and legend. I'll probably be creeping even closer to the action once the battle actually begins. Oh, but you won't have to worry about me. I'm perfectly capable of taking care, taking care of myself. Besides, I know all too well the strength of you and your Pokemon. I've got no doubt you'll have this whole thing tied up in a neat bow before I could possibly be in any danger. You hope. Getting a lot of iron chunks over here. I can pick it up. Oh, man. For so long, I thought that I had to eliminate any outside element that might threaten the people of Jibli Village, whether that meant banishing you or seeking to destroy the Pokemon of the temple. I felt it was my only path, but you've shown me that I was wrong to think in such a way. Are you ready for this challenge, Recruit? Hey Techno, let's meet tomorrow together. What is that supposed to mean? It's a saying we've got in the Diamond Clan. It means you hope you'll both stay safe. Hmm. Perhaps it's worth listening to what the Diamond Clan has to say sometimes as well. We'll support you in whatever way we can, though I doubt you'll need it. Techno, protect Asui and her people. Protect time and space for her Pokemon. Dude, this is like world ending type stuff. This is like heavy stuff for a Pokemon game. You have like two clans that are at war with one another. Technically they're both worshipping this, you know, different gods, but they both mean well at the same time. And yeah, it's crazy. I can see what they mean by like it has a lot of like mature ideology and content uh, theorized around the story because it really is. Yelga is huge. What? That hideous form? 
Oh, they're gonna make me catch it too. Oh, I didn't want to catch it. Oh, it looks so hideous. I'd rather take, you know, Yalga's ultimate form. Hello! Holy sh Okay. That ain't cool. So does this mean I don't get the Alga's uh, alternate form? Can I get Palkia's? Oh man, how do I avoid that? What the heck am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to throw a bomb at it or something? How am I supposed to avoid this crap? Yeah. What am I supposed to do? Are you gonna give me any tips? No, just good luck. Miss me with that. I somehow missed it. I think it's going to be like Arcanine. Ow! That did nothing! Fight this like I did Avalog. Ow! 
Ow. Miss me with that. Got him down to like two. About time to send a Pokemon out the battle. Holy crap. Uh, hang on. Water Dragon, right? Alright. All right. Jack off. America! Oh, I was so close. Ah. My pain and suffering better be funny for you guys because this isn't funny for me. Can I just restart? to get like down to half of his health I freaking dodged that Gonna keep pelting it. I actually did it. I didn't have to battle it. I literally just pelted it. Holy crap. Dude. That was a pain in my rear end.
Dude. That was a pain in the butt. Not even gonna lie, that was a pain in the butt. Four hours and 33 minutes. He caught it. He really did it, didn't he? Eyes aren't lying, right? He actually went and caught it. Yes. Good show. What a catch. You contain the fearsome thing in the origin ball. Absolutely astounding as ever, Techno. Thanks, Sino. Formidable as usual, Techno. Yes. Asshole. Even the commander sheds a tear now and then. Never thought I'd see the day. Yes, yeah, so what a sight to have witnessed. Mm. Who gives a commander? Not sure... Ouch. What gives commander? Not sure I deserved a sumo throw. Well, at least it seems this is no dream. Listen up, all of you. We faced a calamity unlike any we have known. But we were able to overcome it by working as one. This calls for a celebration, a festival for us all. Gather your clans. This will be the greatest celebration Hisui has ever seen. Celebrate with the Diamond Clan? The two clans together, huh? Well, since it turns out we were both following a true almighty Sinnoh of our own, I guess the times when we'd fight over who, whose was wrong or right are ancient history now. But this may well be the path, best path forward, forward protecting the space we all share. Let us celebrate, for today dawns a new day for all those who live in the Hisui region. Wow. We finished the main game. Now I know there's a post game ending as well. But I don't think I can get through that today. We can do uh I don't know how long it'll be, but we can try to go and do a playthrough of the post game story. But yeah. This, crazy, I played this for 4 hours and 36 minutes today. Probably be longer since the credits are rolling and I can't skip it. My thoughts on the game? Honestly, probably one of the best ones. Probably one of the best Pokemon games that I've actually played. And it definitely did have a very mature theme to it. Where... Two clans were at war, both following a god of their own, but that's a cute Arcanine, but both clans are right and realized that their bickering was for nothing. On top of that, they found that both time and space cannot be without each other. So, they unite, and it looks like they're going, they're going to celebrate. Oh, dude. That was some playthrough. I did not know he would ever be a ninja. I had no idea that Benny would be a freaking ninja. But... That is really cool. I mean, and, and, you know, getting thrown out of the camp knowing that you're a castaway and you are this outsider and basically everyone kind of thinks you're weird because you fell out of the sky. But, you know, it's like Celine said, you can't help who 
can't help how other people view or treat you. All you can do is manage to do your best and know what your intentions are. You yourself should know who your intentions are and who you are as a person and accept who you are and who you view yourself as and not worry about what other people see you as or what other people view you as. I mean, there's a lot of mature things going on in this game. And again, I think I'm going to have to go and say this is probably better than black and white. No, probably. This is definitely better than Pokemon Black and White. Like, Black and White and Black and White 2 had been on the highest regards of my favorite Pokemon games. Right underneath that was uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver. Those were my favorites. And, or Pokemon Gold and Silver, as they used to be on the Game Boy games. This actually now tops it. This is honestly one of my favorite games. No joke. Thank you for adventuring with us. Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. everyone's partying together. That was crazy. The arc phone is beeping. Seek out all Pokemon. Well, do I not get the different form of the alga? Do I get the, is it just like, do I just, am I just stuck with this form of the alga, the regular origin form? Good morning, Techno. It looks like the space-time rift has vanished. The sky's gone back to normal again. Which I suppose means we better get back to our original mission, completing the Pokédex. We're going to meet in the Survey Corps' office to discuss our next steps. See you there soon, Techno. Alright, guys. I want to see if there's anything new. I'm short on money. Oh, dude. I have no money. Because Volo took it all. Ah. Uh. Hold on, guys. Paper. Did she give you like any like new? Oh, she has new styles. Buy clothing. I want to see what new clothing she's got. I can't afford anything, but any new hats? Same bandanas. Same handkerchiefs. Ooh, a warm cap. Okay. A bowler hat, huh? I look like a rich guy. Oh, and a ninja mask. Oh, dude. Something so tells me to get like a green ninja mask. And the pine one. Nope. 
No, I'm not done. I want to look at a couple things. Oh, uh, I can probably look all over all of this, like, off stream or off camera. I really don't like these fancy kimonos. Ooh, I don't like that jacket. That's the fold. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'll just, I'll look at these later. Yeah. I'll just look at all that stuff later. I, I'm gonna have to get, like, some money anyways. But... I will be doing the post game later. Possibly tomorrow. Because this is gonna take a long time to render the video. Hang on, I will throw out Dialga though. Dude, he's freaking tall. I'm gonna find a way to see if I have if I can get the other Dialga form. Oh, the way he just talks like ah. eh. I come back. You are tall, dude. Okay. Yeah, you know, I'm going to save here, guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, it is like 1.23 in the morning. I'm staying up recording this. And hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I'm going to scrap the... Um, I'm actually going to scrap the... Uh, what should I call it? The live stream and just upload this, live, upload this whole video. Hope you guys stay safe. Stay healthy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.